Today we're here with Captain Scott Lum and Captain Ben Chansey and we're in Cape Canaveral fishing for cobia. So we're at our first spot, and uh, we're gonna go up. Scott's gonna go up oh, top right now. Right, 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 right. Turn around, go, 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 go. Where, 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 right, 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 right. Right there, stay right there. So you gotta be the first boat on the ray so you can claim the ray, and the ray is yours. That's how it, that's how it rolls up here. And we got two other boats. Everyone's headed toward this ray. This ray just jumped. He's got it, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. There's one. The laser sharp piece Go beyond. Woo, buddy. So we're uh, hooked up to a really nice cobia. Scott saw a ray, threw a, a croaker on it, boom, ate it in one second. Nice. Beautiful. Dude, I love cobias, guys. I don't really care to eat them, but as you can tell, if it pulls a line like that, that's a black tip H fish right there, guys. That's a releaser. How big is this fish? You might, this is a monster right here. We might have to chase it down a little bit. I mean, he's, he's spooling the reel. He's, I don't know what just happened. It's a big cobia, guys. It's a nice cobia. And I wanna show you too, whenever you're netting these fish, you wanna hold the bag of the net. If it's dragging in the water, the cobia will, will move away at the last second. So Scott, us being late, didn't affect you at all. Oh, not at all. <laughs> hey, I don't care as long as uh, we get, as long we as get we some get good. Our fish, yeah. It doesn't matter. And we didn't do it on purpose. Hey, it's like when I have a, a client or a guide and, and their daughters, I'm teaching them how to triple tail fish and how to do the technique. And then they do something completely different. And I say, just forget everything I told you, just keep doing what you're doing, you know? <laughs> yeah, he's got a head on him, dude. Wow. There he is. All right. Where's the next one? Nice. Open the bail. Oh, over the bail. Yep. Nice. All right, we got him in the RS. Oh, look at that cobia. Look at that cobia, guys. Woohoohoo! That is a beautiful fish right there. I'd say a solid 20, 25 pounds. Okay, one of the things we're doing here, if we see a ray and we don't see fish on it, there, there very likely could be. Uh, a ray, uh, a cobia underneath the ray, and a lot of times the bigger cobia are tight underneath the ray, and you don't see them. So in that situation, um, we take a, co a croaker and a weight, and we'll pitch the croaker in front of the ray, the direction of the mandibles, the mouth is going about 10 feet in front of the ray, and let it sink all the way to the sand. And if, if there's a cobia there, they'll see that bait, that croaker to go to the bottom. They'll leave the ray and they'll go down and they'll thump it. Guys, so I'm, I'm using the drone right now to find. Manta rays, kind of cheating right now. I have the largest, I have the tallest tower today. Where's Kobe? Let's go. Oh, Kobe. No. That's a Kobe. That's a Kobe, dude. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. He's going for it. He got it. He got it. Oh. <laughs> you set me up. <laughs> when we see these uh, Kobe's on these rays, and you can actually see the Kobe, our best shot to get them on a lure is going to be our first cast, you know, the first time we, we present the bait. And I like to make a longer cast that I need to, and then I reel the lure up, up on the surface real fast so I see where it's at. I let it sink down ahead of the cobia, and then that's gonna be our best shot. I don't like to throw the same lure over and over and over again. One thing I learned from Jose Wahebe is um, he used to say, change food. Don't keep throwing the same thing. You know, out here, chartreuse is a huge color. Everybody's throwing chartreuse jigs. I like to throw different colors. And um, then we all have a variety of live baits, a hook and a weight and a live bait. You gotta change up. Don't, if you throw something, they follow it, but they don't commit and eat it. I don't think you should throw that again and again and again. He didn't eat it the first time. Yeah. I think you're desensitizing the cobia that way. I think immediately somebody should back you up with the live bait. All right, so, what, so Scott, what are you doing now, Tommy? I'm uh, gonna put a piece of this cobia belly on here. You know, when I fillet these fish, I do a couple of different things here. I, uh, I save the cobia belly. I open their belly. I look what they're eating. This is the, the white part of the belly. You make a strip on it, pointy, pointy slender strip, and just put that on your jig. And then there you go. Just nice. a regular bucktail jig with a little bit of meat on there. So when the cobia does eat it, he's got a little taste. And 
wants to chomp down on it. Big Ray, up there, see him, see him? Get it, go in for it, throw to it now. He's big enough? Throw. Let it sink. He's got it. Let it sink. He's got it, he's got it, he's got it. There's a bunch of cobia, a bunch of cobia. Got him, fish on. There's a whole bunch of cobia on this fish. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's a big cobia, Scott. That's another, oh, the cobias. There's so many cobias. Oh, they're all trying to eat it. They're all trying to eat it. Guys, there's so many cobias. Look, they're trying to eat the shake off. There's so many. He's pulling a mahi, guys. He's pulling a mahi. He's got one rod rigged up. I got a big one, I think. Triple dump, triple dump. This is awesome. I'm going to fight two cobias at the same time. Here we go. Here, just give me that one, Josh. Fight that one up there. You want to get that one? Yep. Let's we'll get the one in the boat, the, the keeper, if that's a keeper. Yeah, that's a keeper. All right, let me get this out of the way. That's dead. This one's, this one's big. I need to help you. I need you to grab this one too, can you? Ah, uh, like put it in the rod holder. Here, off. Here, oh, it's off. It's it. off. It's off. This one's off. Here. Keep tight. Real. Real. <laughs> All right, gotta get you the net. I'll bring it to you. Okay. Oh, that's another keeper. You got, you got, that's, a, that's a keeper right there. Yeah. Two cobias, double header. We had three on, but one got off. One. Let's get this thing inside. Let's not lose them. No. Oh, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Open the beautiful. bail. All right, cobia man in the boat. Ben, let's, let's, let's get this fish in the boat right here. All right. Ben took over, took over for me. We had two more cobia hooked up. Scott, oh, that's a big one. That's the, that's the first one we hooked. I think that's the bigger fish. Thanks for handing this one off, man. I appreciate it. No problem. And once he's once he's in that nice deep bag, you just let him rustle around, do his thing. Nice cobia. Yeah, that's the that's the bigger one we hooked earlier. Yeah. Right. Out. All right. Double header. We had three on. One of them got off. That's five cobia so far today. Epic. We're gonna keep hunting down these rays. And we're gonna try to get at least six fish in the boat. And we're in federal waters. We're allowed two per person. So at total. We're allowed to keep six cobia today. So Josh is gonna hook up. Oh, jeez. For oh, three hours. Dude, it is a kingfish. <laughs> oh, he got. I think I think someone else got him, dude. Flipper's trying to steal from us. Look at that, guys. What is he trying to do right now? What happened, Josh? I had a nice kingfish on, and uh, he got eaten. Let's take a look here. Oh, he's still alive too. Yeah. Look at that, guys. That's what happens when he gets chomped. It comes up to the surface. It's coming up to the surface. Here we go. Scooter. Scooter jump. That's uh, not a cobia. We can get Josh. I don't know, man. It's good fish. Good fish. I got light drag. We got trouble hooks. If we, you know, it's a king or a cooter, they got that bony mouth, and you can lose fish very easily with that. What do you think it is? I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, I'm thinking barracuda because he came to the top. But it could be a big king. There he is. I see him. He's getting chased. It looks like a bonita. I think it's a bonita. So did you say there's a lot of cooters over there? Yeah. Let's just bring him back there and put him on top of the water and we'll get one of the coolest Instagram videos ever. Okay. Pull him in and rehook him? Yeah, we'll hook him just in the mouth. Quickly. Here they come. Here he comes. Here we go. Oh, he got it. Oh, he got it. Oh my gosh, he got it, dude. Dude, I just got it, dude. <laughs> I just turned it on. Here he goes, here he goes, here he comes. Oh, oh, Akuda. Oh, oh, they're fighting over it. Oh, 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 my gosh, he beats it. He's getting it hard. Here he comes. Oh, it's a big one. That's a giant. Oh, get it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, he's got it. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, what a monster, dude. Look at these wolves. Oh, oh, he got it. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, he got it. <laughs> there he goes, big one, big one. Oh, he's got it. The big one's got it. He's got it. You got the hook in him? I think so, I don't know. He's trying to eat, he's trying to eat, he's in it, he's in it, he's in it. Oh, it's a giant cooter, guys. That's a log. Oh. oh, he dropped it, he dropped it. He's got it again, he's got it again, he's got it again. <laughs> That's like a 30 pounder. Look at this, oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh, he got it again, the log got it. Oh. That's a giant. They're all giant, dude. <laughs> oh. Fish on! 
Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, we got a giant. We got a huge kudon right here. I'm trying to clip these rods. This is a great fish to end the day with right here, guys. It's like a 50 inch barracuda. It's a monster. Oh, it's a giant. That's a big fish. Oh, it's a big fish. Oh, no! He popped, he, he bit right through the wire, guys. I can believe that. Right through the wire. What, what size wire is this? Number four. Number four, guys. So it's not too light. I put a little too much pressure on that fish. What a day, guys. We got five cobias. We got jumbo barracuda sitting right there waiting yeah. for the next bonita. <laughs> Dude, we got, you know what? No. Dude. No, no we're we done. Done. <laughs> I, I guess we're done. We're done. We're done. I mean, guys, uh, I can't resist these coos around the boat. I want to put another, I want to flip in our bait to them. I really do. Can we just can we throw no. the, can we throw the live no. bait and watch them hit it? No, no, no. let's just throw the live bait and let them. Dude. Live bait, guys. Hey, I have still to got like an hour ride in yes. almost. Yes. Live bait. Here we go. Here we go. Bounce them off the transom. Oh, you need to. Here, let me show you. Off, off, off the motor. Yeah. Where are you chasing? He's chasing it. <laughs> oh, he's gotta get it. Boom! Oh! Here comes another one. He's looking for it. We caught three keeper cobia. We caught five in total. We saw on that one raid there. Scott, don't do that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Dude. <laughs> Focus. Okay. We got ADD problems on this boat. Like everyone's got ADD. It's ridiculous, including myself. All right, so we caught three keeper cobia. We hooked five in total. We got big barracuda smashing fish behind the boat. We got, dude, we saw at least 50 manta rays. Now, I've, on a good day, I see one. This is definitely the most manta rays I've ever seen in my life. They got sailfish behind the boat. ADD, guys, look at that. Kuda, kudas, sailfish. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, no awesome day, guys. If you want to have a lot of fun catching cobia or other meat fish, hit up Captain Scott Lum right here. He is awesome. He put us on the fish today. We did great. First cast, we caught a keeper cobia. It was sick. And make sure you go and subscribe to Captain Ben Chansey. Chew on this. Hope you guys enjoy watching, and we'll see you next time. Black Tip H Fishing is brought to you by Sudacore Nutrition and Southern Fin Apparel. No way.